when it comes to having women actually fully being captivated by everything about you, being attractive is only gonna get your foot in the door. Being attractive is the first step into getting girls in the first place. Yes, I'm not saying don't neglect going to the gym. I'm not saying neglect your hygiene. I'm not saying that, but you need to learn, especially if you're a younger man, it takes way more than for your, just your looks, okay? Yes, sometimes girls pick a guy straight, you know, strictly because, you know, they're artificial. They pick a guy because he looks good on the exterior. Maybe you got the nice hair, you got the chiseled jaw, you got the nice outfits, you got your body on point for the girls, skin is glowing, you know, from the semen retention, and, you know, you just look good. You look aesthetically pleasing to women. You know, you're the definition of physical attractiveness, attractiveness in, a, in a woman's eyes. I mean, like, you could be tall, blonde, you know, black hair, brunette hair, it don't matter, guys. You could be white, black, Asian, it don't matter, guys. Mediterranean, it don't matter. Okay, but it takes more than just your looks. And this is something I had to learn the hard way, guys. Before, especially when I was 18, I remember the younger me used to tell myself, oh, if I just stay in the gym, I'm gonna get all these girls. And back then, yeah, I was talking to more younger girls, girls who didn't have too much experience when it comes to dating. But as girls age, guys, they look for more out of a man than strictly just your looks. You need to hit three aspects in your life, okay? You need to hit the physical aspect, which you probably do have it on point if you clicked on my video. You've probably been improving at it. So you're already probably covered there, okay? We don't even need to cover that. I don't need to tell you to go in the gym and clean yourself up. You already know that and eat good. You already know that. But the other two aspects that men tend to forget is you also have to have your financial game on point. Okay, guys, that's why I tell you, like, I, in a period of your life, you're gonna have to learn how to, you know, stow away the women, you know, hang up the hang up the, the cape for a little bit. And, you know, you got focus in and dialing on yourself. Okay, so I suggest the first thing is you got to find something that you love doing in your free time. Because if you don't, you will waste away and you will waste money and waste time until it's too late until you realize like, oh, I'm, I'm having a midlife crisis, because I didn't do nothing with my life. Okay, guys, having girls is great at all. Okay, I won't lie to you. Have dating girls, having rotations, a girlfriend, a wife. It's it's great. I'm not saying don't have that. But you need to learn as a man to actually enjoy the process of you being alone and doing things that makes you happy. Not just by having a girl and having, you know, sex right there whenever you want it. And you could smash and, you know, you have a woman's company. Yeah, it's nice, but it life is more than just that. Okay, you gotta build up an empire. You gotta build something that you love doing. Maybe if you like watching YouTube videos, hey, why don't you become a YouTube content creator? Or maybe you like cooking and you could, you could be a chef. Or if you like cars, maybe you could like learn how to be a race car driver for all I know, or learn how to do mechanics and start your own body shop. Like things, guys, I'm telling you, we limit ourselves because we think that, oh, we have to live within the, you know, the rules that society has laid out for us. The tools that they've given to us, that's what we have and, that, and that's it. There's no getting out of that. I don't believe in that. I believe if you really want love something and you're passionate about it, you go all in. You don't look back, you keep moving forward and you love what you do, okay? You gotta wake up, breathe it in and you got, that's always gotta be on your mind. Like what your passion is, it should always be on your mind. Everything you do should be working towards you monetizing what your passion is, you know, a, a starting a business, YouTube channel, a stream, whatever. This is the age of technology. So, you know, those things, guys, I'm telling you, they can be done. They literally can be done. Okay. So you need to learn how to get the money on point. Okay. So you're going to have to learn how to save. You're going to have to learn to, you know, go on monk mode for maybe a year or two because you have to save and build yourself up, save up for an apartment or a house or a new car, or try to get a better job, stuff like that, guys. Like, you know, things that's actually gonna improve your life, okay? Secondly, you need to learn to master your emotion and your mindset. This is where most guys fail, okay? Most guys get, the, you know, the looks, you know, I'd say at least out in the world, at least 65 to like 70% of guys, you know, are physically pleasing to women's eyes, okay? I'll be, I'll, maybe even a little bit less than that. Maybe let's just say 55 for, you know, to put in that cushion right there. But the thing is, you know, most guys hit the, the looks aspect, but then, you know, a few guys go past that and try to get the money aspect as well. 
and they hit that too. You know, maybe you're making over six figures now. If you are, good for you. I love to hear that. I love to see it, see that. But you need to learn how to cut out your sim tendencies and you need to learn how to be not Mr. Nice Guy no more. You need to start living life for yourself because most guys, you know, their mindset is to please other people. Okay, I've made this, I've said this in my last video. If you live your life trying to please somebody else, you're never gonna please yourself, okay? So you need to start, you know, being a little bit selfish. Like guys, I'll be honest with you, most of the people out here, especially the women you know, they're the most selfish, okay? They look out for their intentions. What do girls date a guy for, right? To get something out of him. You know, maybe your resources, or maybe she's trying to, you know, get some of your status because maybe you may be low key famous. Maybe you're like, you're the athlete in school and, you know, she wants that clout of just being, you know, with the quarterback or the star player on the basketball team or the, you know, the, the designated hit hitter on the baseball team. Like, it don't matter. Like, girls literally will, like, extract the resources out of you, extract something out of you, okay? So, you need to learn how to, you know, with that mindset. I'm not saying be all greedy and be, you know, try to prey on someone's downfall, but you need to learn to, you know... I'm out here to win too because everyone's out there for themselves, right? Everyone's out there for their own best intentions. You're, you're gonna have to be your number one fan and support yourself and believe in yourself and actually live a little bit delusional, okay? I, you need to have delusional confidence. I won't even lie to you guys. This is what it is because if you don't have it, you need to really like truly believe in like everything you do is gonna work out with that kind of mindset, okay? I don't think it's being delusional. I think it's like really having full confidence on yourself when you know you've been putting in work you know you've been putting your best foot forward. You know you've been working your ass off, endless nights, sleepless nights, early ass mornings, and you're getting up and you're repeating the, the cycle all, all over again, okay? That is what's gonna improve your confidence and your mindset because now you've got a schedule going. Now you know, yo, my life is on an upwards trend because I, every day I'm doing something productive. Every day I'm winning, okay? In your life, you're winning every day. Every, you have to win till you make it to you know your bed. Like the minute you get up, from your bed and back to your bed, you've had to win something. Maybe you've improved something that you've learned, or maybe you've improved maybe your looks, maybe your diet got better, or maybe like you got more money because you started something new, or maybe you got promotion at work. So your life has to always progressively move forward, okay? That's what it is, okay? Being attractive, being handsome, that's not gonna cut it no more. You gotta be the guy who's, you know, most girls are working now. You know, most girls got their own job, and shout out to them, right? But you know, to really have that dynamic, that, you know, leadership dynamic within your relationship, which works the best, by the way, because women love to look up to the guy who they're with. They, they, they need a leader, right? That's why they get in relationships, because they want to have a leader. They want to have a partner. And it's not really a partner, guys. They want a guy who they admire because they want to they don't want to be with a dude who is eating Cheetos all day, smoking and drinking all the time. Like, no. Yeah, maybe if those kind of guys can date girls for like a couple months, but usually that don't last. Like you gotta really be out here on your mission, on the grind, and you gotta be wanting more out of life than just the simple basic necessities, you know, your living necessities. Like you're gonna have to strive for more, okay? So you gotta get that money on point, you gotta get your mindset on point too, okay? Always have confidence in yourself, okay? In anything you do, even when you're having a bad day, just be confident in knowing like, damn, you know, even if I'm having a bad day, have this mindset. It may be a bad day, but guess what? I get to go back and I get to win and repeat this process all over again because it's you. You don't take L's, you keep winning. Your life keeps improving, guys. Most girls, most guys, their life is going downhill because they're not in the gym. They're not out here trying to make as much money as you. Like, you're focused on the bigger picture. You're focused, like, that partying and all that going out, you know, trying to hook up and catch, chase girls. That was the past, like, I'm not saying you can't do that. I'm never chasing a girl, but like having fun socializing, I'm not saying don't do that, but you look for more out of life now. Like you're looking to look really settle down and, you know, build something up out of yourself, out of the, your two hands and build a foundation out of it, guys. So that's really what it is. Get your mindset on point. You have to be delusionally confident in yourself and everything you do. You have to feel confident, you know, as if, as if you feel like you're the most handsome dude when you walk in the room. You have to feel confident as knowing, like feeling like, damn, you're going to be the most financially rich dude at one point in your life. I'm not saying ever compare yourself, but you need to really like feel like you're walking in there with the, you know, like, like you're out there swinging, guys. Like you're out there, you got that swing, like that aim for the fences, okay? So don't, don't be on this timid mindset that most guys around you have, okay? Because it is what it is. They have that, and these people will try to 
put that energy on you. You know, people don't like seeing a dude having all this confidence and, you know, leveling up. They hate to see that. You know, they'll show you fake love, fake daps. Don't even pay attention to that. Fake conversations. Like, you got to literally be okay with people hating on YouTube because it is what it is. This is what comes with the crown and the territory, guys, that we don't really talk about. Matter of fact, I'll make a video about that in the future. But if you made it this far in my video, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And follow my Instagram and my Twitter down below. And make sure you like this video and so share it and subscribe, guys. I appreciate every single one of you. Let's continue to excel every day.